basically to get started on the front here, uh, we're gonna start with, I guess you could say the lower portion. We're gonna remove the 22 millimeter bolt uh, for the main spindle assembly. We're also gonna undo the brake line. There's a 12 millimeter bolt there. The uh, ABS line, just little clips that come off and also a 10 millimeter on the back. Uh, the sway bar, which is a 14 millimeter nut. And you do need a, an Allen or a hex key to hold the, the center portion from spinning. That'll pretty much complete it. Um, keep in mind, you don't want this to kind of fall on you when you're taking it off. When you undo these two larger bolts here, uh, the whole front knuckle assembly is gonna come loose. So just keep an eye out for that. So the next step, once you have everything down at the bottom uh, unbolted, is removing the upper three bolts for your uh, strut mount. Uh, you can see here we have our Megan Racing strut bar installed. So this plastic piece is already removed. It's very easy to take off. Um, what you're going to want to do though is to get access to all three bolts. Remove the, the plastic trim. There's one piece here, another portion here uh, that will come off after you remove the windshield wiper. And then also there's a small little round cover. It'll all be easy to see once you're in this area. So this last bolt here, uh, you want to leave at least one of them in place. I went ahead and took off the two rear bolts. This last one, um, you're going to want to hold the strut from underneath as you remove it. Otherwise, your strut is going to fall down and could be a pretty big headache. So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the rear. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, for the most part, what we're going to do on the bottom here is undo the nut for the sway bar and also the bolt for the shock. You can see the shock is separate from the spring. So what you want to do is also set up a, a jack underneath. Uh, this is going to hold it up uh, when you unbolt the shock because there is some tension on the spring here. You don't want it to kind of pop out uh, when you're trying to remove the shock.
So on the rear spring here, um, it's a little bit difficult to take off. You do have to kind of press down and pull at the same time. The other thing that does help though is if you spin it. Uh, notice here, this is gonna sit a little bit low, uh, tighter, basically on the perch. Um, when you spin it, it'll kind of release a little bit of the excess tension that it has and you'll be able to wiggle it out. It also does help if you want to have somebody maybe stand on this or use a, some kind of a pry bar to pull everything down and give you more room to get the spring out. So now we're going to try to get access to the rear nut or the, rear, the nut for the rear shock. Uh, what you're going to do is basically take off some of this trim. It'll let you fold the covering back. Uh, it also does help if you have somebody help you out with this because it's just a little bit tricky to do everything at once. Uh, you're going to be holding the, the liner back and also undoing the, the nut for the shock. Okay, so now we got the uh, cover or liner off of here. And what I'm gonna do is hold the shock from spinning with this Allen key and use a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench uh, to take the nut off. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I have to hold this down at the same time, but it's not too bad. So now that we have everything uh, unbolted pretty much, uh, we can go ahead and remove this shock. All you need to do is kind of work it out and it'll come right out.